What's up Geeksters? It's me Omar from Geekster Labs and today I have another quick how-to video on how to factory restore your Mac. And so this is something that you would want to do and if you're getting ready to sell it, if you're going to give it to a friend, you're going to get rid of it, trade it in, or if you just want to start fresh and start have it just basically have it factory fresh Mac. This is what these are the steps you're going to do in order to get to that point. Now there are actually two different ways you can do this. There's the older way, which is a little more tedious and a much simpler way. And the simpler way is for newer, newer Macs, newish Macs. So let me show you guys how you could verify what kind of Mac that you have. So first off, there's two things we need to make sure we have. So if you go to the Apple symbol in the top left corner and go to about this Mac, you want to make sure first off that you have Mac OS 12. So your Monterey, you've, that you're using Monterey, make sure you have that version. If you don't update your operating system to Monterey. And then the second thing you need to check is the processor. So there's two different types of processors in the newer Macs that you need to verify that you have. So first one we'll look for is the Apple, Apple Silicon. So if you have an Apple Silicon one, if you look down here where it says processor, it would say chip right there. And if it says chip, it would then say Apple M1 or Apple M2, depending on you know when you're watching this video, there may be Apple M5s by this point. But either way, it'll say chip instead of processor, and it'll say Apple M1. Obviously, I don't have that on this uh, Mac that I'm using here. This is an Intel-based Mac. So now we need to verify to see if it is a uh, Apple T2 security chip processor. So in order to do that, we're going to close this window. We're going to go back to the Apple menu in the top corner and see where about this Mac is. If you hold down the Option key, that will now change to system information. So hold down option on your keyboard when you're mousing over this and then click on that. When you click on that, you'll have this window that pops up here. Lots of more information, but now we're just gonna go to controller. When you go to controller, there we go. Model name, Apple T2 security chip. So it shows right there that I do have a newer uh, MacBook. This is a 2018. So that means I will be able to do the simpler version of this, which is erasing all the data. So uh, if you have an older Mac and you don't have either one of these options, the M1 or the T2 security chip, uh, don't don't despair. I'll put a link in the description to Apple's uh, support page to show you the steps that you'll need to do in order to erase your Mac and have it be factory fresh. It's just a few more steps that are, that are a little more tedious, but it's not impossible, so don't get too freaked out, but I'll put the instructions in the description, all right? So now we know that we are ready to go and we can do this. So now this is basically this is all I have to do. Go to the Apple symbol top left corner. Now we're gonna go to app, uh, System Preferences to open up System Preferences, and then you're gonna go back up to the top file menu and click back on System Preferences. And now there's now a new option that says Erase All Content and Settings. Super simple. Click on that. From here, we're going to type in the admin password that you use to log into the Mac. So here it tells us we're going to be wiping out the Apple ID, Touch ID, all the finger uh, fingerprints, and all accessories will be removed. So basically, basically, what this is going to do is it's not not restoring or completely erasing the hard drive and doing a factory restore of the operating system. You're basically it's basically just going to wipe all those the content and settings that you have. So it'll be brand new basically. And it's a much faster process. After that, it's asking for the Apple ID uh, password. So we're gonna type that in. And we type that in, it gives you this menu right here. You're about to erase all content and settings from this Mac. All data, settings, and apps will be erased. This cannot be undone. All you gotta do from here is click erase all content and settings, and then it will give you a new prompt on the screen and it'll look like a brand new uh, iMac. So let's go ahead and do that now. And there we go. We have the hello menu. So basically, if you are going to be selling this, giving this away, whatever it is you can do with it, at this point, you have nothing else you have to do. You're done. You're finished. You shut it down. Put it away. Get ready to give it to your friend to sell it, whatever it is. If you continue going through the forward of this process, you're going to be setting it up basically all over again. And that's not what you want to do. You want it to have factory pressure. Unless it is what you want to do. If you, if your whole purpose of this was to uh, start fresh, maybe the computer felt like it was running a little bit slow, you want to start completely factory fresh, well then you would go through the process here and set it up for yourself. But if that's it, you're done, nothing left to do, close it up and get it, get rid of it and go sell or trade it in or whatever it is you have to go do. So hopefully this video was helpful to you guys. If you want to check out some of my other videos, I got two other clips over here you can click on. And if you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more helpful how-to videos like this, make sure you click on my face and don't forget to ring that bell to be notified of all my new reviews and videos as they pop up on my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.